greater, any enemy greater than me. And if ever a traitor, a traitor to myself, I be. I'm pushing the limits. Good evening. It's Friday. It's half past seven. And that could only mean it, it is the Opposition View Show. And it's nice to be back with a proper Opposition View Show this week because we've got proper football back. Did you miss it? I did. I don't like these international breaks at all. Um, but we've got um, a game this Sunday, a pay-per-view, quarter past seven, and we are playing Villa. And you just saw then a nice 4-0 win from last season. I think we'd take that again, but um, <laughs> if, we can, if we've got enough players to put the full team out. But it is, uh, it is Aston Villa. Uh, we have had the international break. It probably... Well, I did say before it was at a good time for us because we just lost uh, to West Ham 3-0. And it was, to my mind, it was a good time for Villa, for us to play Villa because it's given them a break when they would have wanted to carry on and build on the 7-2, obviously great victory, over Liverpool. But uh, we've got a few injuries to contend with, so it might be a more difficult game than we've got planned. It might certainly not be as easy as the one we've just watched. But we have got a Villa fan with us. His name is Tom. And he's been a well, he's a Leicester lad, but he's a Villa fan. I'm sure he'll explain that to us <laughs> when we go in. And so I'm going to say um, good evening, uh, Tom. How are you doing? Hi, Chris. Not too bad, mate. How are you? I'm not so bad, thanks very much. I was. I'm always happy when I watch that video. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that. you're happy. I, I'm. I'm not too pleased with that. I. I had to uh, turn the screen off while you played that bit. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you noticed I didn't play the Caribou Cup second leg. <laughs> yeah, one. you missed that one out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. So you, you, you said before we came on though, uh, a Leicester lab supporting Villa. Yes, I am uh, born and raised in Leicester, but uh, I've been a Villa fan since I was seven when I received my first kit. So uh, yeah. well, I live the other side of Leicester towards Tamworth side. So a lot of my friends from school are all Leicester fans. And uh, that's, that's, that's you know, so I am a local yeah. lad. I work in Leicester, but um, I'm Villa through and through, <laughs> unfortunate for you. <laughs> do, you, do, you ever, do you ever wear your Villa shirt in Leicester? Of course I do. Wherever yeah. I go, my villa coat, my villa shirt, wherever I need, I, I don't mind. I, I wear it. Yeah, I'm I'm proud to be a villa fan, and uh, yeah, I won't, I won't, I wouldn't hide it. That's 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 uh, that's what we like to hear. Uh, stick by your beliefs. But uh, we said we said as well. Obviously, um, over the last few seasons in the Premier League, there's been a bit of a shortage of sort of Midlands teams up here, and we've yep. got the so-called big two still can't get back up Derby and Forest. But there's, no. there's you, uh, obviously Villa, there's us, there's West Brom now and there's Wolves, the four of us. Do you, you see this as a derby game? Or? Um, I mean, I, for a Leicester fan, yeah, I could I could see it's a, a derby game. It's obviously a Midlands derby. Uh, for us, the, the derbies are more Wolves, West Brom and Birmingham, although I can never see them coming up uh, into the Premiership, so we'd have to worry about them. But I suppose you could say, yeah, it's, it's a derby. And, uh, you know, we, we've seen to have played Leicester quite a lot last season. Um, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's it's a bit of a derby. Derby for me, especially being a Leicester lad. And, uh, you know, I've got a couple of friends who, uh, well, they've been good supporters since 2016 anyway. Yeah. Um, so, uh for me, I, I hope I can uh, not have a repeat of last season and we come out on top this year. <laughs> well, yeah, three, three, one, two, or something it was, wasn't it? But um, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> just to say, uh, anybody that's watching in, if you've got any questions for Tom or myself about about the game or about uh, the history, then uh, pop up with the question and you know we'll try and fit you in and say a, a few hellos. But uh, I've got to mention it. Um, <laughs> what a game! you had uh, yeah. last time out um yeah i did say, i did say in the lead up there that it probably came at the wrong time for you because you would have sort of surely wanted to play again straight away while you still got that adrenaline pump. but it's great result yeah great result i mean and i know you say about the international break but you know maybe you know we've got some players like Grealish who's well rested anyway so we don't have to worry about that um but yeah uh I, I couldn't believe it really. I, I I was watching it with a with a avid Liverpool fan, 
uh, and we we sat down. And I was like, oh, here we go. You know, I'll, I'll take a draw or something like that. Yeah. And and to see the the score and the goals just going in, it was uh, one of the best nights of their life. It was it was yes. brilliant to watch. And um, it, the football we played, it was it was nice to see us playing football and attacking and actually going for it and and not you know having to fight to to survive the match. So yeah, I, I was ecstatic. I was over the moon to to to, to get that win and. Uh, yeah. It's one I'll, I won't forget, definitely. A, diff- a different villa to, to last season. Definitely, what, yeah. What I mean, you know, we we do know villa aren't sort of slow on splashing the cash, and we'll come and have a look at your sort of buys, buys in a minute. But, yeah, you've, you know, you've played three, you've won three, you're second in the league. Yeah. What, what, what has changed at the club from last year? I think I think last year was a bit of a wake up call, definite yeah, definite wake up call. You know, um, first year back in the Prem after being down in the Championship is always a difficult season anyway, and and the whole point of that season is to survive, um, and 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 we we done that, but we we literally scraped it. You know, COVID probably helped us a little bit and gave us a bit of time to to recoup and and get back together and, and realize what mountain we had to climb really. Um, so, you know, coming, coming through that survival and, and staying up in the premiership, it, it was clear for the, the owners, you know, we, we needed money putting into the club. We needed players. You know, we, we ended the season. We had, okay, we had Rainer come in, but, uh, you know, our, our number one was out. We, we had no striker. We, we had Keenan Davis playing up front for us who, yeah, he can hold a ball up, but he can't score. You know, most of our goals were coming from defenders, you know, we, we struggled to score. So it was clear we had to spend the money um, and the transfer window we have, I couldn't be happier with, you know, we brought the right players in um, and, and strengthened the squad in the right places. And, you know, I'm not going to lie. I, I went through a, a patch where I thought was Dean Smith, the right man for the job. Was he going to be able to do it? But, you know, he's proved us wrong and he's, he, you know, he's, he's brought these players in. We've had new uh, staff come in from Copenhagen who have helped put the money in and, and pick the players and I, I couldn't be happy with the, the, the transfers and the players we brought in and you know we're looking in a good position that look you know they're jelling well already that you're not having that period of time where it takes them to get used to playing with each other and and they're coming in you know and, and they're doing the job that's needed I mean, just looking uh, at the history between the two clubs we've got, we've actually played each other 102 times. Uh, yeah. We, we're we're out on even. top. We've, we've won 43. You've yeah. won 34. So I'll take that. Yeah. But in the yeah. Premier League, uh, we've played 22 times in the Premier League. We've won nine, drawn nine, lost four. Um, yeah. But last season, we did, like you said, we seem to play each other a lot. And I'm just going to say good evening to Brad. Um, and he's got there. It's going to be a hell of a game. Either that, or with all the hype, it will be a nil nil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, might, not. I would actually probably take a nil nil at the moment, but <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> but, uh, I actually, we, we we had a guy that um, did that our opposition view online put on on our website, that's the I die dot com. We have an opposition view page, and he actually said, which surprised me, that. You actually won the one you didn't want to win, which was obviously yeah. the second leg of the Carbon Cup. But surely you wanted to win that and, and uh, have a final, didn't you? Me personally, I, I, you know, I wanted to win it. You know, we yeah. we were nowhere in the league. It, it was a chance at silverware, um, and and yeah, I mean, I, I'm one of these that you play you play for everything you're in and you go for it and 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 you do your best to to, to win. Um, so I, I was happy that, you know, we beat you. I, I was there at Villa Park that night with, uh, I was actually there with a couple of Leicester fans, which made it even okay. sweeter sitting next to me, yeah. screaming in their ear when we beat you. But, um, you know, I, I was happy with that. And, and, and that was our shot at silverware for the season. And uh, I suppose you could look on, in, on the flip side. Yeah, we, we, didn't, we didn't win the silverware, but yeah. we survived. And that's more important. You know, it would have been worse winning that cup and then going down. So, yeah. you know, e- either way, you, you've got to play for the games. You've got to go for it. And I think, you know, like with Leicester, we, we, 
you always, like you've mentioned, seem to get the better of us. Uh, and I think it's about time we started turning that tide and 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 get us a you know a couple of wins under our belt. You mentioned earlier uh, you were very happy with your um, the transfer window. Uh, yeah, I was, just, I was just talking it up then. I think you've, you've you've spent around eighty million, just short of eighty million. But you've yeah. made some really good buys. I mean, you got the guy that a lot of our fans were sort of shouting to go and get, Ollie Watkins. Um, yeah. Now, what obviously, guy I don't know. Out to be. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what he was like in your first two games, but my God, he, he ran really ragged, didn't he? Yeah, he did, and and you know. The first two games, he, he was, you know, okay, he didn't get a goal, but, he, he, you know, he, he was he was everywhere. He was he was in the pace. I mean, it was him that led to uh, the Sheffield United player getting sent off, you know, the run. Um, he, he's been a brilliant signing for us and he's just gathered us that confidence up front and strength up front. And, um, you, you know, when he gets it, it, there's only one place he wants to put that ball and, he, you know, and that's what we need. Um, and then, and then to go and get his hat trick against Liverpool, I mean, the, the 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 lad's probably on cloud nine. You know, it was yeah. it, it was the confidence boost he definitely needed. You know, having that uh, uh, having having that hat trick against Liverpool in the Premiership, uh, it, it, it's going to do him no harm. It's going to make him want more and more and more, which is what we need. Yeah, and we need you goals. know, I, I, you know, we we we're the prime example again of. Of, you know, buying lower league players can can ultimately you know pay off. Yeah, Hashtag yeah, definitely. Everybody, you know, but yeah. he does look. I think I think I'm going to sort of end the season being very jealous. And I mean, again, a, another swoop, another good. I know you've only got him on loan for the season, but Ross Barkley. Yeah. What you, you know? know? I, yeah, Chris. When 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 I when I heard we'd we'd got lot, uh, Ross on loan, I, I was shocked. I mean. I'm sure Terry had his influences at Chelsea to get him across to us when fair play for, for doing that. Um, him and Grealish instantly connected. We, you know, we were pushing forward the, the strength he gives us in midfield with Luis in, standing just behind him. Uh, it's exciting, exciting times. And I, I'm, you know, I'm hoping we keep, we keep the momentum up and, you know, Barkley, yeah, great signing. And, uh, Hopefully, after the after the season, depending on where we finish, he, he stays with us. You, you. I mean, I don't think it's a loan with a. You don't think you have to buy him, but obviously, if he if he has a good season, you'd yeah. want to keep him. Um, Bertrand Truri and Emilio Martinez, I think, were the other two main signings. Yeah, I mean, Traore, um, not seen much of him yet. Uh, I've watched him in the uh, in the Carabao Cup, and he, he looks okay. Looks like he's he. He needs to settle. He needs to play a bit more uh, for me to have an opinion on him. Obviously, I've, I've watched videos back of his time in France, and uh, yeah, he, he looks. He's got the ability. Um, obviously, when he left the Premiership, he left for a reason, and, and coming back, the Villa cat staff see something in him, and I'm, and from what I've seen, that there, there is something. But uh, yeah, I need to see more of him, Martinez. You know, I, I was I was more than happy when we signed him. When when he covered for Leno last season for Arsenal, uh, personally, I'm a goalkeeper myself, and and I, I see I think he's a better keeper than Leno. So I was shocked to see Arsenal let him go, uh, but very happy to see him in the sticks. And you know, first first three matches, two clean sheets, and you know he, that that penalty save as well against Sheffield United has kept us in the match. Uh, just, so more more than happy with him. Just remind me, obviously, I don't follow Villa avidly. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. Um, yeah. Pepper Rainier, you still got uh, Rainier? No, he's gone back. He, he's he's now he's at the club. Yeah, he he was only on this season long loan. Um, yeah, I weren't overly confident with him. You know, he gave that presence at the back, which you know uh, people like Nylon, who's now gone, is, uh didn't give. But um, yeah. you know, Heaton's. Um, yeah, you know, I saw on Instagram post today him and Wesley, who are our striker Wesley. He's they're not far from returning, but I think at the minute Heaton will struggle to get back back in as number one uh, if, yeah. if Martinez carries on playing how he is. Yeah. You mentioned earlier um, you weren't too sure about Dean Smith as your manager. Yeah. Um, one of the questions I've got down here, uh, you know, he kept you up. 
he yeah. did a great great job in doing that. Is he the man to take you forward? I mean, you've got to give him a season. Yeah, uh, yeah. and I, and I, I think yeah, you have to. You've got to give him a season. It, you know, I, I'm I'm not afraid to admit there was a, a period in the season last season when I did think, is he the man? You know, is he the right man to to keep us up? Um, you know, he came to the club and he was a you know he's he's net renowned as an attacking manager and and we we weren't attacking so there was a time but you know fair play the club has stuck with him I'm glad they've stuck with him and um he, yeah he, he's doing wonders for us I mean look what he's done look at the people he's brought in he he's 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 got what he takes and he needs he needs to be given more that you know well every manager's just yeah. on the previous few games and you know He's just got to keep the momentum up now and, and keep these players playing. Yeah. Last season, uh, we are, I think we all know your your main player was Grealish. And yeah. probably one of the you know best moves in the transfer window was actually holding on to him. Yeah. Uh, probably if he'd gone down, he'd have been, could have probably left, do you think? Staying up was yeah, right well, thing to him. Yeah, I think I think if he would have gone down, he would have left. Um, I mean, I, I was, you know, I, I was talking to to my brother, uh, who's, you know, he he's also a season ticket, and we we were both quietly confident that if he stay if we stayed up, we we're keeping him. I mean, the guy he's born and bred Villa, and um, mm. I think you know when we stayed up, I I, I couldn't see uh, at him going, and and you know it was nice to go through the the short summer break that we had. Knowing that there was no uh, offers coming in in for him, so very happy he stayed up. I think he gets better and better. I'm I'm gutted for him for England. I mean, I, I just I don't understand Southgate's thinking personally. Uh, you, you know, he should have been playing, He's, but it, it's giving him a rest. So I'm not have to worry about injuries now for the Leicester match. Yeah. You know, I, I I wanted him to play only a because it would wear him out. <laughs> yeah. Although he, he's a bit like the draw cell back uh draw cell bunny, he just go on and on yeah, and on. He just keeps but, going, uh, doesn't he? Yeah. But no, I must admit, and even speaking as a Leicester fan, I found it very strange that uh, that he wasn't picked in in, uh, in the Denmark game. It was some, some strange yeah. decisions going on there. It's obviously old history. Uh, yes, yeah. Hopes for the season. I mean, you know, you stayed up last season. Um I was talking before. I think that you know. I don't want to remind you, but the last uh, Midlands team that managed to stay up really towards the end of the season. I wonder who that on. was. Chris. I don't. I don't know. But they yeah. went on to have a very good season the following uh, the following season. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gained a lot of fans it, as well. I'm going to get. I'm going to uh, get. I'm going to get done now, aren't I? For that. I know what Matt <laughs> Allen. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, you, you do, and I, you know. Again, we touched on this. I think the more successful as a club you become, with the Premier League being as big as it is around the world, you do get followed by fans that uh, uh, have discovered us, if you like. You know, yeah. uh, you know I've heard, but um, you know, we we did that, and we know that it gave a lot of other clubs. Uh, Possibly, you know, you could argue whether you're the same size or bigger than us, but they have a lot of those mid-table clubs hope. Yeah, but definitely. What, what, what would your hope, your hopes be for, for this season? I mean, I mean, when I was talking to you before, my, my 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 hope this season was after staying up. You know, I don't want to be in a relegation battle this season. No. Um, I don't want to go through that again. Uh, so. I know the club's uh, hopes. You know, the clubs have openly said that. They're happy to invest. They want European football in the next year, two, three years. Um, and, and that's the way we're going forward. And that's what we're aiming for. I mean, if we get there this season, fantastic. Um, I, at the beginning of the season, if you asked me the same question, I would have said mid-table. I'd, I'd be happy with mid-table, away from a relegation zone, safe by Christmas, you know, that kind of... That kind of um, that that kind of season is what I was hoping for. Just to, you know, I don't think I could go through. You know, I haven't got enough nails left to, to go through <laughs> that again. But um, no, I mean, listen, it, it's it's early doors of the season. It's a strange season. It's a strange time. There's no fans. There's, you know, we're seeing high goal score, uh, high high goals, and who knows what can happen. And and you know, if if we stay at the top, fantastic. You know, and and 
we've we've got to play with belief, and you've got to play with hope, you know the belief that you can you can carry on the the good streak we've started on, but we can't get complacent. We, we've got a um, you know Leicester are not a, an easy side, and we we can't get complacent. Uh, you, you know, it, and and it's just a case we've got to take every match once one by one and um, see how see how each one goes and 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 play to that you know that each team's ability. You could easily be a football manager there. We're going to take one game at a time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I, I've, learned, I've learned the lesson in previous, yeah. in previous years. And, uh, it, you know, what? I agree with everything the managers say. Take one step yeah. at a time, definitely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's, who's going to cause us problems? I mean, we've obviously touched on Ollie Watkins and Grealish. Those are two players that we, yeah. you know, are going to send that out there. But take those two out the frame for a bit. Who else in your, you know, is there in your team that can go and cause us problems and get to us? Uh, well, you know, I'd like to see, um, uh, you know, I'd like to see the, the left backs get forward a little bit. Um, I'd like to see Taggart pushing forward uh, and, and Matty Cash to, you know, put, getting them pushing forward. But then Luis, you know, he, he's, 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 just come back from international duties. Probably he started in the Brazil team. He, he's he's happy, so he, he can score some goals. And I mean, uh, the first few games, there's a few times that I'm, I'm just like, hit it, you know, hit it, you know, go yeah. for it. And he's passed it out wide. So I like to see him have a, you know, push forward. And obviously McGinn as well. He's just got his captain banned from for Scotland. He's got man of the match performance. So he's obviously hyped up and you know in a very good place. So. Again, I'd like to see him uh, causing you some trouble as well, uh, and and then obviously not not to forget, you know, the the, the partnership we've got with um, with Barkley and, and Grealish, which they're gelling. So I'm, I'm confident for this game. Uh, you know, as I'm talking to to you now, I'm thinking, you know what, we we we've got a half decent squad this year, and I'm confident. And you know, I might be completely knocked down on Sunday night, but yeah. let's hope not. I hope, well, I hope you are, but obviously... I'm, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure you are, but <laughs> I'm you're, you're suffering that. with injuries, aren't you? So, well, you know. I was just about to say, um, you know, you must think... Um, no, I mean, I'm just, I, I wrote it down, and I'm just going to read this list of players that are either doubtful or injured. And you've got Piera, who's, you know, he's, he's been out, you know, months now. Pratt is doubtful. Foyuncho has got an... Uh, uh, Abductor strain, whatever that is. Uh, Johnny Evans, abdominal pain. So let's just hope that might just be wind. Um, <laughs> Indeed, in, in he is injured, and he was the guy that got back for us and covered our back for, and even he's got a Marty who came back after months out. He's out with a nip hamstring. Um, uh, Morgan, who would is, is, I know, the old Captain Morgan, he. Uh, he would be coming in possibly with Fafana at the back too, but even Morgan you know, might have a back problem. Hardy has got a calf, industry, uh, uh, calf injury. Uh, Madison might get on for maybe 20 minutes or maybe a half. Uh, that's, I, you know. <laughs> so you, you, you're technically playing second squad. <laughs> yes, yeah, you know, it, it, you know, this could be a, a Carlin Cup game, uh, yeah. a Caribou oh, Carlin Cup. Excuses are like coming it. out already. <laughs> oh, yeah. get in there early. Yeah, in there early. But, you know, let, let's just let's let's cover, let's co let's edge our bets and just tell yeah. you what's happening. <laughs> but I, d I did see a, a Villa fan on Twitter, and he actually said, you know, this could be a good time to play us, and yeah. you know, we, yeah. we're, coming, we're coming back off the Wolves defeat. You know, we've not got the largest squad. You know, we know that. Um, we've let a few go, we've let a few of the better youngsters out on loan. But you know, you look at that, you know, you must look at our injury squad and think, you know, you've just been rubbing your hands together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna lie, you know, you've got you've got most of your decent players out. So yeah, uh, yeah, from that point of view. But again, that's when mistakes can happen and, and complacency slips in. So, you know. We've we've just got to play football and 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 take the game to you and 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 hopefully capitalise on what seems like yeah. our strengths in this game. So, yeah. um, yeah, I I can't deny I'm not happy to see that they're all out. <laughs> um, 
But equally, part of me wants to say, I wish I had a full squad so we could beat that squad instead. Oh, <laughs> <Yeah>. um, <laughs> you're just greedy I, now. You're just greedy. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just seeing Saturday night and the, 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 the club chat that I, I have. And I can see them all coming in. Oh, yeah, but this, but that, but that. So um, the excuse is coming in. But, you know what? It's, w- w- we'll take it, obviously. And, uh, and hopefully, it, you know, we... we we, we win this one. <laughs> I was, I was, I was going to say because one of the questions I've got here is also to you know which Leicester players do you fear? But I mean, you know, the the main ones that people go for are sort of yeah, you know, all, all out injured. <laughs> There's, uh, yeah, they are, and and you know what, I, I've 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 watched Leicester games with with friends and I've been to you know when I've been to Villa Park watching Leicester and you know. Some of your players, you can't deny you've, you've got a lot of threat there. And um, obviously, Vardy, you know, he's a constant threat, uh, even though I'm not the biggest fan of him myself, uh, especially with the gestures he does after scoring at the Holt end. But, um, you know, and, 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 and indeed as well, you know. Yeah, uh, you know, indeed I, I, what He was amazing when he played, when I watched him, you know, a really good player. So, um, yeah, that that. that the ones I fear are not playing, so <laughs> that's that's good for us. Um, but you know, you've still got uh, is it Iniacho? I suppose he'll be he'll, he'll be starting, and he's a, he seems hit and miss. Sometimes he, he, he can score some good goals, and then other times he looks a bit completely off the pace. So he, he, um, he's totally. Um, you just don't know which which Inacho is going to turn up. But the problem no. is a striker. They have to be playing because they're only going to get confident by scoring goals. And while Jamie Vardy's fit, unfortunately, nobody else is going to get looking. No, playing in that, that position. But um, yeah, I'm I missing, think the trouble is with Vardy. The, the teams have started to, the, you know, the the, the well, they the, the know they know less of strengths, and it's a counter attack up to Vardy, isn't it? So yes, uh, yeah. we just got to make sure that Mings, you know, if he was playing, we'd, we'd expect Mings to be all over him and not allow that to happen. You know, because obviously when you beat us last time, Mings, Mings got injured and left, gave you a goal yeah. while he was still struggling with his arms. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll take that again. I'll take that again. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, it's. I mean, I, I, you know, I look at the team and I think like it's a chance for those that come in to prove themselves. Um, yep. You know, we, we've we've got a guy in Perez that we bought from Newcastle. And I just did a thing on, on the on the group tonight about uh, um, everybody sort of getting on his back, and and he's not, you know, maybe it's his maybe it's his turn to shine, you know. It's uh, maybe they've got I mean, the chance, you know. And uh, yeah, and and I said I said when uh, when I when I heard that Perez went to to you guys uh, from yeah. Newcastle, you know, he, he had a decent season with Newcastle that yeah. season, and uh, it was a good signing for you. Uh, yeah, he hasn't seemed to have shown that, and 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 not played as well as I suppose you'd expected him or wanted him to. So, um, I think the, I think with him, I mean, there's the argument and, and Perez like because would tend to say, well, he's never played in his you know favourite position uh, and all this. But us fans, we like to have a scapegoat. Yeah. <laughs> it was Definitely. it was Ben well till he left, and then yeah, and then it, that, it's that Perez, unfortunate. Uh, for you. <laughs> yes, yeah. So, um, predictions. I mean, I, I must admit, I've gone for a 2 2, uh, but that yeah. was before all the injuries. I, I felt, you know, after, after your game, it'd be a 2 2. I do a thing with a lot of ex Leicester players uh, Steve Walsh, uh, Stephen Lynott, and um, uh, Ian Marshall, and they've all gone for a 2 1 to Leicester. Right, okay. But you're not, you're not going to go against your team, are you? No, definitely not. I mean, <laughs> after the Liverpool win, how, how could I? Uh, yeah. I, I I'd go three one. Villa, Villa, three one Villa. Well, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I hope, bonus. <laughs> I hope you're wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but it depends, like another... it depends what Leicester, it depends what Leicester side comes out. If if your yeah. Leicester side that came out against Man City, then we're going to struggle to get through your defence because you had eleven yeah. defenders, didn't you? But yeah. um, if it, if it's the Leicester side that played West Ham, then yeah, we, uh, I'm more confident with that side. Well, could we really play, please play the Aston Villa that you had last year? Uh, no, no, <laughs> hopefully that's not embedded. <laughs> <laughs> but well, it's on. Uh, it's on P 
you know, pay-per-view, which we touched at, yeah. you know, uh, earlier. And um, I, I, like you say, whilst we wouldn't encourage online viewing, shall we say, yeah. uh, I, 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 I think you, you were in agreement, you know, paying even more when you've got all the guys and BTs and what have you, just stick in the yeah. corner, doesn't it? You know, but uh, we does, haven't got... No, I'm a bit gutted, to be fair, that, you know, it's it's on pay-per-view that, you know, we, we'd planned on going down our local sports bar and watching it. So, uh, and I don't believe they're now showing it because it's on pay-per-view. So, yeah, it's, I get some of the reasons why they're doing it, but yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't, not to say that I'm going to find a stream or not, but I am. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, very, very quickly, just to get uh, another fan's view on uh, Project Big Brother, uh, I always want to call it Big Brother, Project Big Picture, uh, yeah. got thrown out, I think quite rightly, I think it was a stitch up, I think they've been yeah. doing it for three years, these, these clubs, rumours were, and, you know, it was there since, Basically, since we won the league and they didn't want another Leicester out of it. Yeah. Um, I don't think we'll ever, you know, people say, oh, teams like, say, Villa or Leicester are going to break into the top six. And I don't know whether that would be an ambition, but surely, you know, we, we could make the top six, the top seven, or the top eight. Yeah, we, yeah. we could. Um, I mean, I've not looked at this too much, to be honest with you. I've not looked into it, but. Um, yeah. It, it's it's all. Oh, is it Liverpool who bought it? He wanted it happen. You know, Liverpool uh, and Man United. Yeah. Man United, yeah. Which shock! It's the big clubs that you know. Yeah. But um, no, I think I'm, I'm glad they voted against it. Uh, I think yeah, let's just carry on how we are for now. And uh, you know, I'm more than happy. With, let's just the Premiership, the Premiership, and let's yeah. let's not. You know, it's probably the best league in the world. Let's not mess it up. As you say, if it's not broken, why fix it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, Tom, I'd like to thank you so much for coming on this evening. No problem. Thank you. I'd wish you all the best for Sunday, but I wouldn't mean it. But yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I do wish you all the best for the rest of the season, starting on yeah, Monday, you, you know. You, yeah, you too, Chris. <laughs> Thanks so much, mate, and you stay thank safe. You, Thanks you too. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks, as I say, for Tom for joining us. Um, Villa on Sunday, 7.15, pay for view if you're paying. Um, if you're not, then uh, I, I can't recommend the screen, but it, it will be on lcsd.com radio. And uh, we will be back post-match with me and Brad bringing you the post-match show on Sunday evening. If you're not going to be recording Country Files to watch that after the match or Antiques Roadshow, Join us. Uh, it will be a late one. Uh, it will be a very late one. This is a 7.15 kickoff, but uh, they, that's football at the moment. If you didn't catch all the show, if you missed the beginning or you had to nip to the toilet, you probably missed the best bits. The best bits always happen when you nip to the toilet. Uh, you can catch us on Leicester Till I Die TV on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, all the social media links are below. Um, follow us. Uh, follow us, like us, subscribe, do all that would be great. We'd love to have you welcome, welcome you along and have you with us. Uh, like I say, I will see you Sunday evening. And whatever you do, remember, please stay safe. Good night. Now. A traitor to myself, I be I'm pushing the limits, I'm testing my luck And just like a letter, I will self-destruct